Welcome back, Crossroads Kids. I hope you enjoyed last week when we heard that in the beginning, God always loves us. We read in the book of Genesis where God made the sun and the moon and the stars and all the planets. We read about how God made the oceans and the rivers and the lakes and the mountains. We read about how God made the fishes in the sea and the birds in the air and all the animals that roam on the earth. We talked about how God made those things so that we have everything we need to live. And we talked about how God made those things so that we can see and enjoy part of his beauty and his creation. Well, this week, we're gonna stay with that theme and we're gonna be talking about how God always loves us and has a purpose for you and for me. So I want you to get your Bibles out and you're gonna hit pause on the video. And today you just have two verses to read. You're gonna read Genesis chapter one, verses 26 and 27. When you're done reading those verses, whether by yourself or with your family, come back and hit play again. And our Bible memory buddy, Savannah, the giraffe, do you remember her? She has a new message for us that talks about this special purpose that God has for you and for me. Then I'll be back soon to talk a little bit more about how Jesus fits in with that special purpose. Hey there, friends. I'm Savannah, and I'm a giraffe. I live on grassy plains called savannas on the continent of Africa. Giraffes are the world's tallest mammals. We grow up to 19 feet tall. That's taller than three adult humans. Since we're so tall, we can look far out over the savanna. We've got excellent vision, too. It's easy to spot other animals far away. Of course, when you see me, the first thing you notice is my spots. These spots are spectacular and special. Spots help people figure out what kind of giraffes we are and where we live on the continent of Africa. Maasai giraffes live in Kenya. Their spots are a little smaller and look like leaves on an oak tree. Other giraffes have spots that look more like square shapes. You all have fingerprints that are unique to just you. Well, like unique fingerprints, no two giraffes have the same spots. My spots make me special and one of a kind. And all my cool spots remind me of God's love for all people. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter three, verse 18, it says, and may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. When God created the world, he created people in an extra special way. We can read about it in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. The first people's names were Adam and Eve. God made them for a purpose, to be his friends and to be in charge of this wonderful world. God made each of you for a special reason too. You have an important purpose, to show the world what God's like. God is caring, so you show what God's like when you care for his creation. God wants a friendship with each one of us, and you show what God's like when you're a good friend. And God's creative. Guess what? You show what God's like when you create cool stuff. God created people to praise and honor him. God is so good. I wonder, who will spot God's love through you today? God always loves us. One of the reasons that God created people was to show the world what he is like. People are created in God's image in a way that nothing else God created is. But that's not always easy. Sin, going against God, 
showed up through Adam and Eve. And you and me and everyone in the world still struggles with sin today. That's why we need Jesus. Jesus came so that he could show the world God's never ending, always love. I wanna read something to you about Jesus, but here's what I want you to do. If you're sitting really close to somebody at home or wherever you are, I want you to kind of scoot away from them and make sure that you've got room on one side of you. And I want you to place your hand next to you, like, like you're inviting Jesus to come sit next to you. Imagine Jesus is sitting next to you. Go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to listen carefully, imagining Jesus right next to you as I read. You are not an accident or a mistake. You're who you are, where you are, because Jesus put you there on purpose. From the beginning of time, Jesus had you in mind, and you are one of a kind. No one else laughs quite like you or has your blend of skills, hopes, and dreams. No one else sees the world quite like you see it. Jesus has so many things he's looking for you to do. So many adventures. And only you can do them because you are the only you. And in case you're wondering, you are wonderfully made. All right, you can open your eyes. What I just read to you came from our take-home flyer for the week. Now this flyer is in our Facebook group or on the email that your mom and dad or grandparents got so they can print it out for you. And there's a couple questions. It could be like your small group time at home, either by yourself or with your family. Then what's super cool about this is when you're all done with the questions, you can turn it over and it will show you how to turn this paper into a true flyer, a paper airplane. So have your mom and dad print this out for you so that you can do this at home. And I want you to, this week, every time you look in the mirror, I want you to say, you are wonderfully made and you have a special purpose. See you next time.